Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about DJI FPV, FPV, first person view. So basically it's a new product on the market and uh, DJI is well known for doing the same thing over and over again. So doing, putting all the difficult things together and creating a consumer friendly product. So let's take a closer look what it is and honestly, and straight out of the gate, I will tell you that I'm not an experienced FPV flyer and pilot. I've been doing a lot of cinematic aerial stuff throughout the years, but never ever get into FPV uh, thing. So let's take a look from that perspective on what a DJI FPV is. Okay, so let's start. There are three basic modes that are available, which is normal mode, sport mode, and manual mode. Normal mode is, as you can see, assisted mode and this is very uh, easy to fly DJI thing uh, mode so it's full GPS assistance it, the GPS will hold the drone in position for you so it's a little bit like flying I don't know mini 2 or air then you have a sport mode which is combination of both manual and normal so it's something in between where you still have uh, some assistance for example the GPS will keep the drone level for you but like in, in position for you However, it gives you more freedom and more speed. The manual mode where you can go with full speed, I think it's up to 150 uh, kilometers per hour. So basically speedy, 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 it's super fast. And uh, honestly, like as you can see flying this manual mode um, was not that easy as people think. So <laughs> if you think that you can fly drones, you may be wrong because FEV experience is something different so you have to experience yourself however DJI offers a um, an app to learn virtually to make mistakes virtually to crash virtually to to try your drone virtually and after this training you may be more uh, like willing to try the manual mode and do the crazy stuff like going down you know doing rotation flips and all the crazy stuff that, uh, for example, like, um, you know, this marketing video of DJI contains. So that's about the modes. Um, you get the controller and uh, somebody can say like, but the controller is like amateur because it does have this, you know, uh, it will come back, you know, the, the throttle and um, the handles will come back to this original central position. It does have a little spring there inside. However, if you remove the rubber part on the back side of the, on the downside of the remote, you can adjust with the screws until the throttle at least is not coming back. So you can use it like in a traditional FPV um, uh, remotes where you can set the throttle in the position and don't touch it. You can adjust your style of flight in DJI drones. So I think they were trying to do as seamless as possible the transition for FPV flyers from a traditional FPV product to this DJI product. Okay, let's go to uh, image quality. It's 4K up to 60 frames per second and full HD up to 120 frames per second. So we have slow motion both in 4K and full HD, which is not a surprise because like, uh, you know, most of the cameras have it. We have, we, we have one slash 2.3 inch uh, CMOS sensor so uh, it will be like a regular DJI image quality. Um, the dynamic range of this uh, footage is not bad. Uh, it does record only JPEG, no RAW images, but it's not a photography meant uh, drone so there's no surprise here. I mean you can shoot some photos with it I guess but who would? You know, you get two modes, you get uh, uh, you get like the standard profile, you also get that scene-like, scene-like DJI flat profile so you can grade the footage. And this is where it comes to the point that this drone is, is uh, created for content creators, YouTubers, guys that want to do some crazy content there and like expand their vision, expand their possibilities, but they don't want all the hassle of, you know, putting their own FPV drones together. But anyways, let's talk about image quality again. So when it comes to image stabilization, it's a one, uh, one axis uh, gimbal, which is normal for FPV drones. It's difficult to, to do it differently. So when you tilt your camera too much down, you will see propellers because even if you take a look at the drone, the drone, the camera is placed really high. 
However, this is normal because it's meant to do acrobatic stuff. But DJI introduced something to solve this problem, which is electronic image stabilization, EIS. So when you have this thing turned on, you can expect a very stable footage. It looks very good. And honestly, I was surprised how good it is because I'm not super convinced about this electronic image stabilization usually, but in this case, it looks good. Um, we get 150 uh, degrees of field of view in different frame rates, like 60 frames per second. It's cut, I think, by seven, uh, seven degrees. It's a little bit even wider than GoPro, which is very wide, so you can be afraid of this fisheye effect. But this is reduced with, uh, you know, uh, image correction. Like there's a built-in correction, so that uh, you know things are not that viral. So it honestly looks very good. It looks like you can create pretty cinematic content with that thing and have a lot of freedom of flight so um i'm pretty i'm pretty surprised the only thing the only downside i think is that you cannot replace this camera with any other camera it would be nice if dji thought think about that that maybe some users are very used to use for example gopro cameras and um, give that kind of option to, to, to users to, to change cameras. However, I understand, I understand this is meant to be a ready out of the box flying thing. So it is. So you just, you know, take all the stuff, you take the battery, you can uh, check the charge. Uh, you know, you have the, the like, like usual on DJI batteries, you have this diodes here, you know, there's little lights there that indicate how charged the battery is. You get the charger, you can, uh, it's, it's easy, it's easy. You put the battery in and you get like almost between three to 10 minutes flight. If you really get 10 minutes flight, which is in very good conditions, no wind, na -na -na -na, but you can get around six, seven minutes of flight, which is a lot for FPV drone because those propellers are very, I mean, those engines are very strong, very fast, you know, 150 kilometers per hour is super fast. So um, basically it's, it's, uh, it's long. Most of FPV drones can do three minutes. So that's, that's what you get. And the batteries are not really very comfortable. You know, if you know this, I will show you, like if you know how these packages look like, it's, it's like not user-friendly. When it comes to um, comfort, you know, of course you get very comfortable Googles, uh, you get a very nice clear vision in comparison with other FPV drones, you get OcuSync 3.0, which gives you a lot of range. And talking about range and all the facilities, you also have the stop button, like like the, the, the like the brake emergency brake button. It depending on the speed, of course, it will it will stop the drone immediately with some time for it to stop, obviously, and it will hover hover in a, in a place and it will turn on the GPS mode again. So basically, what it does, it comes back to a to an fully assisted end mode and you can also use a home uh, feature back home feature which is also very unusual uh, with 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 you know other FPV drones so it's very comfortable you also have find my drone so you can locate the last position and see the last I think 10 seconds or some last couple of seconds of recording to easily locate your drone if you lost it so this is all very cool and seeing how much flight time you have in your goggles like man like uh, it doesn't exist in any other machine it doesn't it doesn't exist it's not there so dji like definitely created something new created something super comfortable to bring fpv drone experience to masses to people that want to just try it when it comes to challenges uh, i mean i'm not sure about the replacement parts with classic builds of fpv drones they are built to last you can you know crush them a lot of times you will need to replace propellers sometimes engines sometimes battery but generally it's all very modular and most of the times very durable and you can really crash it a lot of times and and, and that's okay with um, dji fpv i don't know yet we didn't have opportunity to crash it however having said that it looks very good it looks like very solid construction and dji claims that all like not all parts but parts you know marketing are replaceable so um but i guess you will be you know stuck with dji with that so you don't you cannot you know go to you know fpv uh enthusiast shop you know online and buy anything for the drone you will be stuck with uh, dji parts which is understandable because they created all this ecosystem to make an um you know 
uh, comfortable experience for all the for the for all the users of DJI FPV thing. One more feature I want to mention: this is motion controller. Motion controller is a one-handed controller that controls the uh, drone with uh, you know with motion of your hand. You have the trigger to accelerate. You have the brake. You have the record button. You have all the buttons that you need and it's pretty much like one hand that you know um, controller for the drone which is something new something something to have fun with you also when we talk about fun we also have a, a audience view so you can share the transmission you have in your goggles with audience over USB-C cable to their phones something cool and something that I think DJI is taking care of a lot of times to make the drones fun to fly now let's sum up everything let's wrap it up who is this drone for i would say hardcore fpv uh you know um pilots they will not be too interested with this dji drone unless they want a fpv drone with a good video quality with a good video transmission and they want to go more uh, cinematic than racing thing so they want to you know use their skills but create cinematic content i don't know for their channel for their clients and stuff this may be drawn for those fpv uh, pilots but if you're doing racing i think this drone is not for you but if you want if you're if you want to create to, to you know bring your content to another level to do to try something new to do something new with your drone definitely yes if you want to get some thrill you know like you like experience this this first person perspective thing and 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 see what you see what your drone sees and then you know try to do some some crazy stuff you know flips and then go down and you know rotate then definitely this drone is for you if you are you know adventure seeker and um and uh, like combination of this of this you know um dji ecosystem that guides you through the process uh, easy to use app, uh, very well made goggles, uh, long distance, 4K at 60p, 4, 120 frames per second at full HD. Having all that, even you know, decent quality photos, um, having all that in FPV drone is something that was not available to that time. I mean, nothing I know of. If you know of any drones that are so you know easy to use fpv drones that are so easy to use let me know in comments below but i think this is the first time it really happened so i'm excited to see all the content you will get you will create guys with that and if you want to see more content about, about fpv drone on my channel let me know in the comments below if i forgot to mention something important also let me know in the description be in the, you know in comments below and if you like this video please leave thumbs up if you didn't like it hit the dumb but you know thumbs down even twice and if you love this video please don't forget to subscribe it will help me to create more content for you guys in the future jack sputnik here once again thanks for watching and see you in the next episode